just had a stomach and jumping beans in your feet. <laughs> Were, weren't they excited? Could you imagine those girls doing anything but full of excitement in every skit they do? But what happens when a skit doesn't go with as much excitement as you'd planned for? That's what I'm going to answer today. So keep watching aside because you're going to see these two girls in two very different lights. Keep watching. Hi there, you've seen these two girls before. I'm going to put a link up in the info cards above so you can check their initial induction and their first skit out. And you'll see in that video, don't watch it yet, keep watching this one, check it out later, but you'll see how wonderful subjects they were, how well they went into trance. So what could possibly go wrong? You saw how excited they were in that opening little clip. But today you're going to see a clip of the follow-up to the footstock that I did in the first video. And... Out of the two skits, the first skit, well, let's face it, it really bombs out. It's not exciting at all, there's no enthusiasm, there's no energy in it. But then I do a second skit and wow, they are totally enthusiastic. So what happened in the first skit? That's what I'm going to discuss today. So let's watch the footage. Let's watch the footage right to the end, but don't turn off after that. Make sure you stay watching because after that, I'm going to come back and give you a bit of a discussion on why these things can happen, why skits may not just be as involved as you would like them to be. And I hate to date videos, but uh, I'm going to put something in that may go out of date in a couple of months time, because if you're watching this video, if you're interested in hypnosis, and especially if you're watching this, you're probably interested in street hypnosis, then why not come along to the UK Hypnosis Convention happening in London on the 11th through to the 13th of November. So it's September right now as I'm releasing this video. I'm shooting this video today, just a few days before its release. And in November, there's a wonderful convention. Not only does it run for three days from Friday through to Sunday, but there's pre-convention days and post-convention days where there's other trainings as well. So it's a really immersive experience if you want to get lots of knowledge and information on hypnosis. The key thing is there's wonderful trainers from all around the world speaking at this convention and I guess you've probably figured out by now I'm one of those speakers on the Friday and Friday the 11th I'll be speaking exactly about street hypnosis and how to get started so please join me for that I'd love to see you there at that convention and the good news is there's a 10% discount so before you book make sure you watch this video right to the end because at the end I'm going to drop in a little discount code so you can sign up for the convention at a 10% discount how's that I hope you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you give it a like and don't forget to click the big red subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so you get notified when new videos come out, comes out from myself. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions, you know what to do, leave it in the comment section below. I love seeing your comments, I love finding out what you like about this video and I love answering your questions if you have any questions. So if there's something about this video that you don't know or don't you know, would like more information on, leave it in the comment section below. But enough of that. Let's watch the video. Stay tuned. Anyone want to count from one to three on the count of three, your feet will no longer be stuck on the floor. But just as quickly as your feet become unstuck, just as quickly as the feet become unstuck, the person I'm touching now, only the person I'm touching now, when you awaken, you'll, feel, you'll realize that you are an alien from another planet. You're an alien from another planet, and you only speak alien. I don't know what it sounds like, but you'll, whatever noise comes out of your mouth, that will be your natural language that you speak. And every question I answer, you will answer in alien speak. Nod your head that you understand. The person I'm touching now, only the person I'm touching now. When you awaken, you will be able to hear any alien's language, and you'll be able to translate it into English perfectly. Nod your head that you understand. You'll know what they're saying, you'll be able to tell me exactly what they're saying. So, one, two, three, open your eyes. So, what's it like at QCon today? Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, what's she saying? I, it's just noise that she's going, uh, well, I think she means like it's, you know, it's good, you know, to have fun. Good stuff. And uh, what planet are you from? What's the name of your planet? Um, Saturn. It's really hard to uh, uh, what's it like on your planet? What's the weather like on your planet? Is it? Um, it's, it's okay. It's, yeah. Okay. And what about animals? Do you have any animals on your planet? Um, uh, and what about modes of transport? How do you how do you move around on your planet? 
Say it out loud, nice and loud and clear. Flying cars. Flying cars, wow. And uh, what about the, the buildings that you live in? You, what are they like? Okay, okay. And look at me and sleep now. Way down, deeper, 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 relax. The deeper you go, more relax you feel, the more relax you feel, the deeper you go. In a minute, I'm going to count from one to three, and the count of three, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to look across and you're going to see a Spider Man, and, and you're going to realize that he is your favorite superhero. You're going to tell him how much you love him, you're going to want to get his autograph, you want to get a selfie with him, you're going to tell him, you're going to jump up and down with excitement as you can feel like excitement already growing inside your belly, that you want to really tell him how much how your favourite superhero character you are to him. Nod your head that you understand. You're going to be able to speak English again. You're no longer an alien speaker. You're no longer from alien. You're no longer an alien translator. But you are going to tell that Spider-Man how much you love him and how much he is your favourite superhero. One, two, three, right awake. Now. The more I click my fingers, the more excited you get. You cannot, you cannot stop from jumping up and down. <laughs> what about your autograph? What about your autograph? Get an autograph! Get an autograph! Can I please help you? <laughs> that Spider-Man is here. Did you see Tell everybody over there. Tell him. Tell him what, what, that, that he's your favorite. Way down, deeper, 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 relax. The deeper you go, the more relaxed you feel now. That's right. Did you enjoy that video? It was lots of fun, especially that second skit. They went wild. And given they were such good subjects, what happened to the first skit? As you saw from the first skit, the girl with the purple hair who was speaking alien, and well, she wasn't really energetic at all, she wasn't vibrant at all. And even the girl that was the translator wasn't really enthused about translating. Now that's probably because the alien speaker wasn't really making much of a noise that she could translate. So what's happening there? This skit doesn't always work and I'm going to explain why but when it does work it's a great skit and I'm going to give you a little link to a wonderful skit that worked in the past. Uh, if you haven't found it yet on my channel I'll give you a link right at the end so keep watching for that. So what happened here? I gave out the suggestions, I woke them up and again start, starting off right with the girl with the purple hair I said well so what's things like and, and she was just going Ooh. now take note because you can miss this quite easily there's two parts to the suggestion the first suggestion is you cannot speak English you can only speak alien now she clearly picked up on the first suggestion that she can't speak English because she didn't announce it, I, I don't know what to say or anything else in English, she purely grunted. The problem is that she didn't know what alien sounds like. Now there's movies all over the place, you, can, you know, lots of sci-fi movies and Star Trek and Star Wars and lots of alien dialects and squeaks and burps and bumps and whatever. But if you don't have it in your imagination to just fluently speak alien, no matter how much you're told you will only speak alien, you won't know what to say. Often in hypnosis, in a hypnotherapy setting, I'm helping people with the likes of anxiety nerves. Now, when people contact me for 
help with exams, the first thing I say is, well, do you, do you know the information? I can't give you information. You know, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be an accountant, if you want to be a doctor, I don't know all the rules around law, all the rules about accountancy, etc. So if you don't know them, hypnosis is not going to hypnotise you to magically spout out all this information that you've never looked at or never read up on before. What hypnotherapy is very good for is if you have a block, you've studied for ages, all you've absorbed all the information, maybe in private you're going to recite it, but as soon as you get into the exam room, your mind just fogs over, your mind just blanks out. Then that fogging over, that blanking out, can be overcome with the help of hypnosis because that's purely a mindset thing that something is blocking you from accessing the information you do have inside. But if you don't have that information inside, you can't relay it, you can't convey it back down onto paper in an exam setting. And it's the same in this situation with this skit. If you don't know how to speak alien, which very few people do, let's face it, but equally well, if you don't know how to imagine speaking alien, it's not gonna flow easily and naturally for you. I hope that makes sense. So obviously the girl with the purple hair just, uh, she, she grunts very randomly because part of her brain is saying, I don't know how to speak alien. And then the girl who was translating, she says, she's just making grunts. So at one point, right at the start, she's just making grunts. But her suggestion that she can understand it and she can translate it sort of kicks in because she starts to relay what she imagines the girl is saying because that's all that the hypnosis is doing here. It's a fun skit. It's a comedy skit. Like I say, watch to the end. I'm going to give you a link to a wonderful skit that did work in this exact same way. But for that girl, she just didn't know what to say. So what should you, so what should you do as a hypnotist in this situation? Don't linger on it. Don't try and pull out more than you need to. If it's not working, drop them back into hypnosis, give them a new suggestion, just keep moving, keep the show rolling. That's the key thing. So I drop them into hypnosis and say, you're gonna see a guy dressed as Spider-Man, you're as Spider-Man's greatest fan and you're gonna be really enthralled by it. And look what happens, a total chalk and cheese, a total black to white into color in terms of the way they handle that skit. They were bouncing up and down, they were getting excited and as much as they were getting excited, I was giving additional suggestions saying you're gonna get more excited and more excited. And they were following along, they were jumping on top of them, they were really excited. I'd given them suggestions that you're gonna get his autograph and before I even had to prompt them again, if you watch other skits, you'll see me sometimes saying, what about an autograph? Just to remind them that that was part of the suggestion. But I didn't even need to. They were over there saying, give a selfie, get an autograph. They were ecstatic. So it shows you that with the right imagination, they knew how to get excited, whether it's getting excited about Christmas morning and running downstairs to get presents, getting excited about passing your exams, whatever. They knew how to get excited. There was no or little additional imagination needed, unlike the idea of, of how do we speak alien, I don't know. So there's legitimate reasons, it's not the fault of the hypnotist, and equally, you never blame the subject, but it's not the fault of the subject because you just have to work with, with within the limits of their imagination. I'd never met these girls before, I hadn't sort of given a long interview to understand the depths of their imagination, and that's where the skill of being impromptu and reacting and moving with the flow of things, if the flow's slow, drop them into hypnosis and move on to another suggestion. If the flow's fast, stick with it, give in additional suggestions to really hype up that thing. As you saw me in the second skit, as I say, when I saw that they were really getting excited, I told them to get even more excited. So you can swing it in both directions, depending on how it's going. So the answer to the question up front, who's to blame when it doesn't go right? Nobody's to blame, it's just life. It's just life and the life experiences limits what works and what doesn't work. And this is a quite clear thing to understand because very few people speak alien and a lot of people can't imagine what it's like. But even when other skits don't work, it's the same situation. It's a, it's a limited to their life experiences and what they can respond to. If they don't know how to respond to a certain situation when you give that suggestion, and that's the same, once again, I always bring this back, as much as this is about the fun street hypnosis skits, the same applies in a therapy setting. You might give a suggestion that really just does not resonate with their imagination and their ability to think and tap into previous experiences to help them, guide them in the right therapeutic direction. So I hope all that makes sense as well on how you can tie 
all this fun street hypnosis into the understanding of how hypnosis works in full. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you give it a like, and don't forget, as I say, click the big red subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so you get notified. Remember, leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you like my explanations? Does it make sense? And if there's anything else you want to ask, leave it in the comment section below. And as promised, if you want to come along to the UK Hypnosis Convention, and I really do recommend that, it's on, this is 2022, just in case you're watching this video way in the future after November, but November 2022 in London. Uh, details will be in the description section below and I'm putting it on the screen now. That's the little discount code TERANAM. If you put that in at checkout you'll get 10% off the ticket price. Really hope to see you at the convention. And finally I hope you're still watching. Here's the video that I promised you earlier. This is a group of three girls this time where I was doing the same alien skit. It works out a lot better. It's a lot of fun and I uh, hope you enjoy that. Check out that video next.